Hey guys, it's Charles from Tech Always, and today I'm going to be comparing two of the best budget CPU coolers on the market against each other, the CryoRig H7 and the Hyper 212 Evo. So let's get right into it. So starting off just looking at the coolers, you can see they took some very radically different design choices. While the Evos looks like any other heatsink on the market, the H7 uses CryoRig's high fin design, which according to CryoRig allows for more air to flow through the heatsink faster, providing better cooling. Going through the heatsink on both coolers are heat pipes with three heat pipes on the H7 and four on the Evo. One interesting feature of the Evo is that it has direct contact heat pipes, which directly touch the CPU, which supposedly provides better cooling. While the Evo is a little taller, the H7 is much thicker with a heatsink and fan stretching 123 millimeters, over 1.5 times longer than the Evo 76 millimeter heatsink and fan. While the H7 is thicker, it has zero RAM clearance issues, something I can't say about the Evo. While trying to install the fan to the heatsink, the fan hit my HyperX RAM, which is fairly low profile, so make sure that you have extremely low profile RAM, or you won't be using any RAM in the first slot. So speaking of fans, they are also very different. Both are 120mm fans that are powered by a PWM connector and have black frames, but that's about where the similarities end. The H7's fan is a QF120 balance series, fan ready to run at 1600 RPM and has 11 white blades and rubber pads on the corners. The Evo's fan uses glossy plastic with 7 larger fins and can run at a max RPM of 2000 and is ready to run for about 40,000 hours. Both fans work very well and I'll get more into the performance in a little bit. These coolers also take very different directions for mounting the fans. The H7 uses little metal arms to hold pressure onto the heatsink with the rubber corners of the cooler reducing vibrations. The Evo uses mounting brackets that can be screwed onto any 120mm fan and a set of rubber adhesive strips to reduce noise. While both work, I do prefer the H7's as it is much easier to remove and put on fans and is completely toolless. Overall, in terms of aesthetics, I also prefer the H7 with its black and white fan and its heatsink cover. Now let's get into the installation of each of these coolers. The H7 uses CryoRig's X-Bar mounting system, making installation very easy. You just put the screws through the back plate, put the spacers on the screws, and screw from the back into the, the X-Bar mounting system. This installation was extremely easy. The Evo was another story though. It has a mount similar to the X-Bar, but since it isn't actually attached to the heatsink, it has to be balanced as you slowly lower it down, keeping it in line with the mounting screws. The rest of the installation also isn't easy. You have to place the mounting screws through the hole of the mo motherboard and backplate, and then using an adapter, screw nuts onto the back of each screw, which is very difficult while keeping the screws in. None of this is helped by the subpar instructions with almost no writing and difficult to understand steps. Overall, the installation of the Evo was overly difficult and not something I want to do again, especially compared to the H7's very easy installation. Now let's get to the benchmarks to see how each cooler performed. All tests were performed on my 4690K. Starting off with the acoustics of the cooler, I don't have professional equipment to find exact decibels, but I did my best at recording each cooler with my blue snowball from 15 centimeters away at idle and load to give you an idea of how loud they are to each other. Now getting to the real benchmarks, I ran 15 minutes of Prime95 stress test at stock speeds and a 4.4 GHz overclock with each cooler and here are the results. As you can see, the H7 kept the CPU a little cooler with both temps getting very high with that overclock. While 3 degrees isn't very much, it still is a difference and every degree matters with cooling. To figure out which cooler has the better fan, I tested each heatsink with the other cooler's fan. Here you can see the H7's fan gave cooler temps on both heatsinks, proving it would be the better fan in the future if you want to repurpose it for something else if you upgraded. Just a quick little note before I end the video, I did prefer the packaging of the Hyper 212 Evo as it comes with a little toolbox with everything you need and a smaller plastic casing for all the screws and mounting materials. So overall, while both these coolers are okay, I would definitely recommend the H7 over the 212 Evo. While well, it's $5 more at $35, that $5 goes into a better heatsink, a better fan, and a much easier installation. So now we have the new budget CPU cooler king with the CryoRig H7. 
So if you're looking for a cheap CPU cooler for your next build or just upgrading from the stock cooler, I would definitely recommend the CryoRig H7. As always, if you like this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.